Michelle, Michelle here. Today I'm going to show you step by step how you can take any font and turn it into a coloring book font like this one where it's hollow on the inside here within Adobe Illustrator. So let me go ahead and move these two items over to the side um, so that we can go ahead and get started. Let me scoot these over. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go right over here to the left where that type tool is. And I'm going to click on that type tool. And then I'm going to click anywhere on my artboard. Um, and it'll have like random letters show up. That's OK. Right now, what you're going to do is you're now going to type out what word you want to turn into the outline. And I'm just going to use my name here. I'm just going to use Michelle. But um, any word, it will work. It's all the exact same technique. And so from here, once you have your word typed out, now it's time to pick a font. Now, again, you can do this with any font, but it typically looks better when you have a little bit of a bolder one. This one is a font called Friendship Medium. I'm going to show you a different font just to kind of be able to give you um, some options here on different font styles because this one was the friendship one that I did with the word love. Now, once you have your font selected, what you're going to want to do is notice how there's a big blue underline there. That means that we it is still considered a text and we can still edit it. Once you have the font that you want, we need to get rid of that blue underline and we need to turn it into a graphic. So we're going to go up here to type. We're going to say create outlines. And now we can no longer change the text, but this is when the fun part comes in. We're able to flip flop the fill and the stroke. And the way that we do that is this little bitty swap and fill button right here. I'm just going to click that button and notice all of the inside of the letters is gone, but now I've got a nice outline. And then over here on my appearance panel on the right hand side, you can go to window appearance if it's not showing up for you. I'm going to click on the stroke and I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker. And you can make it as thick or as thin as you would like. It's totally personal preference. And see how it's now kind of coming together? At this point, what I would like to do is I'm going to kind of want to make some edits on where things are laying and the placement. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say ungroup. And when I do that, I'm now able to individually edit each of these letters. Like if I want to make the M a little bit bigger or if I want to angle it or, you know, you can kind of go in and adjust that stuff now. Now, once you have everything adjusted, looking exactly the way that you want, we have one more step we need to do before it's complete. I'm going to highlight all the letters, and notice how inside those letters there's a light blue line on the inside. Well, that's because if we do Control Y, this is what's going to cut on my cutting machine, it's still just reading the outline. So if I go back to Control Y or Command Y, if you're on a Mac, I get back to my regular viewing screen, I need to go to Object, Path, and I'm going to say outline stroke. And what that means is that middle line went away, and now those are considered objects. So if I go do control Y again, I can see now it's my outline. So I'm going to go back here, and one more thing I want to do is notice how there's a couple spots that are overlapping. Um, if these are on a cutting machine, again, I don't want those overlapping spots. So I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool, and I'm going to select Unite. And notice how now all of that becomes one big element. Now, at this point, it's ready for me to save. If you really want to take it one step further, you can also create a compound path, um, which just means it's all one element to cut, or you can leave it the way it is, and then each item will be individual. It's totally up to you. My personal preference is to create compound paths rather than groups, so I'm just going to hit the Control-8 key on my keyboard, and now it's one giant element that I'm able to upload into my software and be able to cut. So that is step-by-step step how you're able to go from a solid font into an outline font here in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see how you're able to use this technique and bring it to life, and I'll see you back in the next tutorial. Bye!